So in this video, we are going to look at Teams policies. There are really nothing much in here. You can um, um, you can add a policy. We can first we're gonna see what's the default one. And if you go in there, there's nothing. It says global. It me says discover private Teams. They can they and which means is that it will allow people in your organization to search for other teams and if they were um, private they will see that hey the team exists they will simply not be able to uh, see and the other one is create private channels do you allow in your organization to for the peoples to make uh, private channels or do you want across the board every team to be public so these are the options if you were to remove it apply then nobody can make a private team it should be grayed out if the, we don't get a latency issue here like if i go back here and try to create a private team i am not it could be a latency thing uh, with office 365 there is a latent lot of latency issues um, so we, we let's get back to it later uh, right now we go to the time policy and see what happens so if you have a policy you can reset it meaning it will revert uh, for this let's do this one this is not the global policy if we go in there it says discover private teams and I turned it off meaning that uh, nobody people they like if you click here it will not let you people or your members uh, of your organization to search for uh, and find private teams that are there they are there only the people who know or they are part of that team will be able to go access it so <clears throat> between public and private uh, private they have to ask to be added into it <clears throat> let's see there are zero custom policies it should be one showed up here this one and that but uh, like I said there's a lot of latency issues with Microsoft uh, Office 365 it's uh, it can take good 30 minutes to hold 24 hours uh, for it to show up so this one is global policies organization by default that was there by default and this is the one that I created let's create another one you click on add you see create private channel is off we can turn it on but uh, it was off because of this site-wide policy you have to just type in a name so if I were to make a name I would say it's sales um, stats so this is the policy that will apply and you just apply so this is the policy you can apply it to a team in there if you go to manage teams and let's say if sales a policy can be applied to it if we go to save so this team's policy is not for uh, does not apply on the team itself it applies on the users so for example uh, we created a policy and then we want to apply it to Bill Clinton that right there that's the policies is this is a we will go in details but for the sake of this policy we can go and there are different policies what they can do or cannot but if you see this teams policy if we click here no not here that basically showing let's go yes so we click and click on add it and then you see all of them here like these are different policies in different uh, sections of office 365 this the team policy that we just created will be under teams policy and if we can see over here if we do the sales stats I it can apply it and with that was it if we now it's applied to this user if we restricted to create uh, private group this user cannot create private groups if we select it this user cannot uh, search and find private groups so this user will not be able to do that 
this is how you apply policies create them and apply to your users if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i will see you in the next one